it's good to see you all back again i hope you're all doing great we all love biscuits and cookies but when you buy biscuits and cookies from stores it contains refined flour refined sugar and preservatives and god knows what i've started making my own cookies at home ever since i started cleaning up my diet a few years ago i'm going to show you how i include millets in my baking it's an easy way to make your kids eat millets as well millets are nutritional powerhouses these are healthier alternatives to your regular biscuits these cookies are loaded with fiber and less calories because of the healthier ingredients used in them first we are going to make ragi cookies with jaggery Ragi is a gluten-free cereal and it's a great source to get iron to increase your hemoglobin in your body. Ragi or finger millet is also great for those who want to lose weight in a very safe way. For making the ragi and jaggery cookies, we need 50 grams of ragi flour that is sprouted ragi flour which makes the protein content even much higher and I've got 20 grams of oats. This is porridge oats, just the rolled oats. And I've got 50 grams of whole wheat flour and I've got 60 grams of jaggery powder and I've got about 2 tablespoons of milk and a half teaspoon of baking powder and you need 50 grams of unsalted butter. First thing I'm going to preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. I'm going to dry roast the ragi flour in a pan. I'm going to dry roast this in low flame for about 5 to 8 minutes so that the raw smell goes off. Now let this cool down. Take a big bowl and add the ragi flour to it, then add the whole wheat flour, then the oats and the jaggery powder and the butter and the baking powder. Now add the milk little by little and make it into a dough. You need the dough in this consistency. Now I've got a tray with parchment paper. Make balls about this size and flatten it and put them in the tray about this size make holes in the cookies with a fork so that it won't rise now i'm going to bake this in the preheated oven for 15 minutes the ragi cookies are now ready they have to cool down for 10 minutes because when they cool down they get more crispier so here we go these ragi and jaggery cookies are very healthy and delicious too and it's really easy to make them at home Next, I'm going to make pearl millet or bajra cookies. This is one of the nutritional rich millets. For making the pearl millet cookies, you need one cup of pearl millet flour and quarter cup of dry coconut flour and two tablespoons of almond flour and a half a teaspoon of cardamom powder. And you also need 50 grams of unsalted butter. And you need one fourth cup of brown sugar for sweetening the cookies. In a big mixing bowl, I'm going to add the pearl millet bajra flour and goes the dry coconut flour and the powdered almond and the cardamom powder and the butter goes in there then goes the brown sugar I'm going to mix it all together by hand and make it into a dough if needed I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of milk don't add all the milk initially just sprinkle a little bit whenever you need it sometimes you may not even need the milk you should be able to hold a ball like this I've already preheated the oven again for 180 degrees Celsius and I've got the tray lined with parchment paper again. I'm going to roll it into balls like this and flatten them and put them in the tray. I'm going to make a pattern with this fork like this so it will have lovely stripes on them. Now this pearl millet cookie is going to the oven for another 15 minutes. There is your super delicious pearl millet cookies. Next I am going to make jowar biscuits. For making the jowar biscuits you need 1 cup of jowar flour and a half cup of jaggery and about 1 tablespoon of flaked almonds and 1 teaspoon of baking powder and 50 grams of unsalted butter and I'm going to flavor it with mixed spice. I'm going to dry fry the jowar flour for about 5 minutes so that the raw smell goes off. The jowar flour has now cooled down. That goes into a mixing bowl and goes the jaggery powder, then the flaked almonds and the baking powder 
and 50 grams of unsalted butter and I'm adding about a teaspoon of mixed spice. I'm going to give it a good mix first. Then I'm going to add one tablespoon of yogurt to it. Add only a little bit at a time to make it into a dough. Using a fork, make holes in the biscuits so that they won't rise. I've preheated the oven for 180 degrees Celsius already. I'm going to bake these biscuits for about 20 minutes. There you go. That's your jewel and almond biscuits. These millet cookies are very delicious and they contain no white sugar or no refined flour. They are very delicious and easy to make at home. Sometimes it gets really hard to get kids to eat millets at home. I know, I know the headache. I've got two kids at home as well. You need to get really innovative with millets. You have to bake them because kids like anything baked. They like cakes, biscuits, cookies and muffins. So you can introduce millets to your everyday baking. I hope this video has given you an idea how you can introduce millets to your kids in a very delicious way. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye everyone.